Travis Pickin. Hi, I'm Hal Weeks, and welcome to Stalking the Wild Auto Heart. This week we are going to talk about Travis Pickin. Now, when I say Travis Pickin, I say I want to uh, qualify the term because it's somewhat of a misnomer, I believe. Um, that term comes out of Meg Peterson's books, um, Complete Method for Auto Harp and Chroma Harp, um, Teach Yourself Auto Harp, um, country picking on the auto harp. There's some other ones that seem to be the same material re-released by Mel Bay publishers. Um, I don't really know what the process was, but every time I look through them they seem to be relatively the same material taught in all of them. Um, but she calls it Travis Picking, and it's one of the it's like the fifth or sixth strum that I learned how to do. It's one of the rudimentary strums that I do. And um, so I've always called it Travis Picken. But once YouTube came along, and I got to see other tutorials by guitar players about what Travis Picken really is, it's somewhat different. So uh, somebody who plays guitar and um, does real Travis Picken might go, Hey, that's not Travis Picken you're doing. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a guitar player. Um, I love what they do when they're doing Travis Pick and they're using an alternating bass. With the thumb, and then they play melody over that. I can't do that. I hope, I hope one day I can do it, but uh, I can't quite do it yet. Um, but this is what she teaches at Travis Pickin, and she says that guitarists will use this um, uh, as a backup strum, strum when they pick up the auto harp a lot. But she calls it Travis Pickin, and I've seen it called Travis Pickin in other books. So we're calling it Travis Pickin, but we'll call it Travis Pickin. Okay? And um, I taught the beginnings of it back last week in uh, banjo rolls. Okay? So we're going to review that today. And it starts, we're going to say, auto harpist. And we're going to use that as a four-syllable word to do our four-eighth note pattern, okay? And they, uh, the eighth note pattern goes like this. T, I, T, M. T, I, T, M. For middle. Thumb, index, middle, okay? T, I, T, M. T, I, T, M. And as I discussed last week, you already know how to do this. Thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index. And that's three quarters of what you're doing here, because you're going thumb, index, thumb, middle. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. And to keep, keep it going without a pause, say auto-harpist, 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 auto-harpist. Without a pause. Auto harpist, auto harpist, auto harpist, auto harpist, auto harpist. Or as we said last week, rutabaga. Rutabaga, 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 rutabaga. Okay? Auto harpist, 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 auto harpist. It's important to get that part because that's the complicated part. The other easy part, you're going to start by backing off two beats, the auto harpist part comes on three and four of the bar. One, two, auto harpist. One, two, auto harpist. And on one and on two, you're going to do quarter notes with the thumb. One, two. Turn to the side so you can see a difference. And if you want words, put in, I'm an auto harpist, I'm an auto harpist, all right? And go, I'm an auto harpist, I'm an auto harpist, I'm an auto harpist. And like I said last week, keep saying the words for a good long time, okay? Every time you mess it up, it's because you're not saying the words. So go back to saying the words, and then eventually you'll be able to drop the words. Okay. 
eventually you'll get relaxed about it and you can go faster. My hand is completely loose and it's roughly shaped like I'm cupping a grapefruit. Okay, or an orange. Okay, so it's an alternating pattern, like we did last week, just as our banjo roll, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, with two quarter note strokes at the beginning. I'm an auto harpist. Now this can be altered for a 3-4 waltz time, too, where you, instead of saying, I'm an auto harpist, just say, an auto harpist, an auto harpist, an auto harpist, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two. And auto harpist, and auto harpist, and auto harpist, and auto harpist, auto harpist, and auto harpist, one, two, and three. If you're ever playing melody, you can pinch on that first quarter note. So you have to kind of, you have to drop in and out of Travis Picken depending on where your melody pinches are, and that takes a little bit of practice, but you get the melody down, you get Travis Picken down, you'll almost be able to do it automatically, and do it without thinking about it, because your body already knows how, okay? So that's Travis Picken, okay? It's, it's, it's that easy. And this is all headed somewhere. You get all of these different foundational strums together that I've taught in this series so far. And once your body knows them, then it's all going to be able to intermingle them and in, intermingle them in this soup of, uh, of strumming that uh, will surprise you because it's leaving your mind completely out of the loop. Your body knows it and takes it and run with it, runs with it and you just have to allow your body to do that um, and it gets quite fun to do okay so that's Travis Pickett I want to thank you for tuning in to Stalking the Wild Auto Harp I want to remind you about my Auto Harp CD which is called Auto Harp Revealed in Cloud and it is available through my website howweeks.com and uh, there's also digital downloads there of the same material um, over at Bandcamp, where you can listen to all of it, by the way. You can listen to the whole thing um, just by streaming it on Bandcamp and uh, you know make your decisions there. Um, and um, I want to thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye.